Is your child having difficulty learning how to draw those digits? Perhaps you need a step-by-step -step instruction to help them along. Well, this video is for you. Hi, mamas. This is Amy Baez, pediatric occupational therapist. If you're familiar with this channel, you know that. I'm here to provide you with some playful solutions and powerful results. Recently, I posted a video on how to draw shapes, and this video is going to help you with the next step, how to draw numbers. If you're familiar with a lot of my videos, then you know I love action words. They are so important. They are the cues, the verbal cues that your child needs to get step-by-step -step instruction on how to draw. And we're going to be using those same action words today to produce our numbers. Now, there isn't an exact age necessarily for when children learn how to do numbers, but it's going to be likely that they are going to learn some easier ones before others, obviously. But just like I talked about in the previous video with the shapes, thinking about that some numbers possibly have diagonal lines, multiple angles, things like that, you want to maybe start working them after your child has been mastering that triangle. But if you want to try out some easier ones beforehand, go right ahead. Here is what we're going to do. We're going to go through these numbers in order, not by developmental skill, but just in numerical order. And I'm going to give you your words to use so that you can help your child be successful. One of the things I want you to keep in mind is again, when we're writing, we are using a top to bottom, left to right approach. So you wanna make sure that every time you're drawing those numbers, that you are following those directions. But don't worry, you don't have to think too hard because I've got it all for you. And let's get started. We're gonna start with the number zero. Now, one of the reasons why this is so easy to do is because it is that first developmental shape that your child learns. So you're just going to draw an oval. You're gonna start at the top like all numbers do, and you're going to curve around. And just remember, if your child is having difficulty with stopping because they're very beginners at this point, you might wanna add in a little cue and say, and stop after you say curve around. This may help them to not continue to draw the circular shape over and over and over again. For number one, we're just going to draw a simple line down and you're going to say, zip down. Now, if you really wanna complicate the one, go right ahead. You're gonna add in a zoom across on the bottom and a slide down at the top. For purposes of this video, we're just gonna to stick to number one as being a straight line down. Again, it's zip down. Now we get to number two and it gets a little more complicated. We're gonna break this down into three parts. and it's a specific reason why I want to really encourage a child to understand that there are three different motions going on here. So if we're starting at the top, we're going to make a hook, slide down, zoom across. Number three, pretty easy. Number three is gonna be two steps. This may be a action word that you're not familiar with because we didn't do it with the shape so much and it is called make an ear. When we're going clockwise, you want to say make an ear, kind of like if you're making the letter B. But when you're making a three, you're going to make an ear, make an ear. Right, here we are at number four. Number four can be written two different ways. If you're going to use straight lines, you're going to zip down, zoom across, lift up, zip down. Sometimes your child may see a four written with a diagonal line. So if that's the case, you're going to slide down, zoom across, lift up, zip down. Here we are at number five. We are going to start at the top. Again, as always, we're going to zip down, make an ear, lift up, zoom across. All right, guys, we are at six. Now, six can be interesting. You could take a different approach with six. I like to use particular words. So what I like to do is say, curve around, 
make a hook. For number seven, we're going to zoom across and slide down. Here we are at number eight. Well, eight is actually quite interesting. Some people like to draw eight like it's two circles on top. I find that a little bit complicated. So I like to do it more like an S and then close it up. So what we're gonna do is we're going to curve around, make an ear, slide up. Number nine, it's my favorite number. I could tell you stories about that, but I'm gonna leave those out for today. Curve around, and sit down. Now, sometimes people like to draw a nine with a diagonal line. So if you're going to do it that way, you would just say, curve around, slide down. Here we are at number 10. Well, we already did these numbers, haven't we? Number 10, obviously, is just a one and a zero. So you're just going to zip down and curve around. All right, I know I could have stopped at number nine, but I just wanted to do number 10 because it just feels more complete. Those are your numbers. There you have it. Super easy, super simple. If you give children the words that they need, they can be more successful. And that's our goal. So try them out and see what happens for you. One little suggestion that I want to give to you is to remember to place a dot at the top of the page if your child has difficulty remembering that they need to start at the top. It's just a little bit of a cue to give them that placement that they may need. Another tip I wanna give you is to make sure that your child is saying the words as well as you are. You want to have them hear and see and feel those words all at the same time. That is what helps it to be so much successful because it really integrates into their brain better. They can remember it and recall it because they're using multiple senses at the same time. So keep that in mind, okay? So there you have it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, or leave a comment below. I'd love to hear more from you. Until the next video, have a playful day.